Good morning. Good morning. Happy Monday. Yes, it's mm-hmm. a Monday and it snowed. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> and it's cold. Yes. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Maybe send us a picture of your blankie, you know? <laughs> <laughs> right. That'll make us feel warmer. <laughs> or are you all bundled up? <laughs> right. Yes, exactly. I did go out to warm up the car this morning, which mm-hmm. is in the garage. I had the door open, of yeah. course. But anyway, <laughs> went to warm it up this morning, and uh-huh. I thought, oh, I'll just run out there without a coat. And then I thought, no, I'm not <laughs> running out without a coat when it's below zero yeah. wind chill. So. I went ahead and put my coat on to go to the garage and yeah. start the car up and was thankful that it was in the garage. Yes, that's a good thing to be thankful for. <laughs> I just ran outside here a little while ago because I forgot my coffee in the car mm-hmm. when I got here. And I uh, didn't have a coat on when you I ran You didn't out. put your coat I on? I did not. Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> and so I made it. Mm-hmm. I made it back okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I always have that fear sometimes when you go out, like when it's really cold, that you're going to get locked out. That's what I fear, too. You know? Yeah, that's why you should always wear your coat. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. <laughs> and all of you, too. That's wear right. your, wear your coat, coat today okay. and that's, your hat and your gloves. Here. There's a theme here. Wear your coat. We care about you. Exactly. All right. So also, maybe you saw one of the uh, Super Bowl commercials. Maybe you saw some that were funny. Which one is your favorite? We've been kind of talking about that. Uh, mm-hmm. This morning as well, if you have a favorite uh, Super Bowl commercials. There's a lot of good ones. There was the mm-hmm. Huggies ones also about the babies. That was really good. Okay. I saw that one. Mm-hmm. And then you showed me the one about that's really a powerful um, mm-hmm. commercial, a Toyota commercial about Jessica Long story. Yes. And yeah. just and um, how she was adopted and her right? parents were finding out that she had a condition that she she'd probably lose her legs right and and, uh and how the parents reacted you have to watch it i don't want to give it away but yeah it's very powerful very touching so check that out if you can you can just Mm -hmm. look it up online Mm -hmm. but so what was your favorite do you have a favorite um commercial that happened during the super bowl you can let us know or maybe a favorite moment of the super bowl you can let us know about that also we're throwing out there as well how can you love better what are some Mm -hmm. ways you've found to love people, love God better. Mm-hmm. Give so. us a call, 800-221-9356, or comment right here on yep. Facebook Live. Like, uh, Oh, well, actually, Lori commented on the commercials. Oh, yeah. She said her favorite was the swimmer Jessica Long Toyota yeah. commercial. Very powerful. So, And Heidi says she's wearing her stocking cap in the house. Well, there you go. She says she needs a nose warmer. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Johnny Diaz, that is called Breathe at 7.04. Good morning, Monday morning. Ken and Deb here, only one above here at the studio no. as well as at the airport. That's that, what it says. I know. It looks wrong, doesn't it? <laughs> it does look wrong. That's so wrong. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, yes, so it's going to be a cold week, so prepare for that. Um, you know, out busting buckets on the farm and everything over the oh, weekend. Oh, it's just I'm like, sorry. I forgot about the busting buckets thing. You got to do it. Oh. And uh, so it's just one of those things. And, you know, what was interesting is that, um, well, we, you have to strategically plan mm-hmm. when to bring the hose out and when to fill the water buckets because you don't want to fill them too soon when you start chores because they'll, they'll ice up oh. before the animals come in wow. to, to drink, you know. And so... You got to strategically plan that. Mm. You don't want to let the hose set too long, uh, not being used because then it'll freeze. Mm. And then you got to carry buckets, you know. And so, anyway, yes, mm. winter, the joys of winter <laughs> <laughs> and taking care of animals. Uh, but I feel so bad sometimes, you know, that the, the animals are out there and they're all cold and we've, we've got bedding for them and they're, yeah. you know, most of them are inside in a building. Yeah. And stuff at night, but still, you just feel for them. Yeah, you, you know. do. I mean, you and and be careful with your animals in this kind sure. of weather too. That's right. You, you know, if you have to go for a walk or your dog's outside or yeah. that sort of thing. Exactly. Anyway, so uh, now that we've uh, covered the cold part, uh, <laughs> how about talking about how to love better? Have you figured out a way, or have you has God shown you how to love people or love God better? We want to hear about it this morning. Our phone number is 800-221-9356. And I was thinking about this, actually, this this last weekend. Yeah. You know, because um, I knew we were going to do this this week, you know, about loving better. And one thing just impressed me is just to, 
wish that I could be quiet more. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, and just, you know, maybe I could love better if I could just be quiet and listen to people a oh, little okay. bit more. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah. We all, always, well, I think we can all, all... Not always react. Sure. I think we can all do that better or try to, to listen more and listen to what people are saying. You know, it's mo so important. And that's loving, too, because... When you listen to somebody, you can understand where they're coming from, and then you can either empathize or, you know, offer suggestions or just put a, put your arm around them, you right, know, and right. just listen. Yeah, so that's good. How about you? Have you ever, have you had something that's um, shown you how to love God or love people more or better? 800-221-9356 is how you get a hold of us. So Doreen had texted okay. in and says, know what looks wrong when your phone says the temp is zero. <laughs> really? Zero. Isn't it cold enough? Well, she minus zero. Yeah, minus zero. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> yep. When I got here this morning, I came in here to check the thing, and I thought, oh, it's not working. It only says... <laughs> It's not working. <laughs> I guess it is working. Yeah. It is only one outside. So scientifically, you know, basically it's not cold. It's just the lack of heat. Is that what they say? Is that what, or is it the opposite? Um, well, we don't have a sense of cold. We just have a sense of heat. Right. And so we're sensing the lack of heat. There you go. Yep. So see, scientifically, it's the lack of heat. Mm-hmm. Which Whatever doesn't make way, me feel any just, better. <laughs> you need to bundle up, regardless of how it's defined. Right, exactly. <laughs> yes, that's right. Mom, getting back again to wear your coat. <laughs> oh man. <sighs> so, have you ever had it where you reset your password on something and then you go back to log in? You can't remember what you changed it to. <laughs> So I had to change my pass. I not had mm. to, but I changed my password in Facebook over the weekend. And so I thought I'd written it down. Mm. I got to check again. So I went to log in here to Facebook. I'm going, ah, what is it? <laughs> so I think I put it down, but I'm going to look and see. Well, we've got Heidi and Lori, and I think Jordan is listening in from Lookout Mountain, Georgia. Their high today is going to be 50. Now, I Jordan. Wanna, I don't even want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> That's just not right. <laughs> I had a friend of mine, I have a friend of mine that I worked with in Omaha who's now down in, I think, Wilson, Oklahoma now. Mm -hmm. And their high today is going to be 60. I just went, oh, can't yeah. stop. Yeah. <laughs> so Carrie is behind me and saying you have to wear a scarf. Don't forget the scarf. Oh, scarf. I forgot the scarf. Hat, gloves, scarf, coat, long underwear, Multiple layers of socks. <laughs> and you'll look like a tick about ready to pop. <laughs> but you'll be warm and alive. <laughs> Unless you fall over, then you can't get up. It's 7.09. Good morning. It is Ken and Deb here. By the way, we are live streaming right now as well on our Facebook page. If you go to Ken and Deb in the morning, you can see us. If you, if you dare. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so sometimes yeah, we, we will talk about different subjects as well uh, on our live stream that we do on air. Today we're talking about the same thing, but uh, you can send us a comment or even send us, um, you know, what, you've been, what your favorite Super Bowl commercial is or how you love better. Uh, you can do that as well on our Facebook page as we stream live today. So we're talking about uh, loving better and yes. loving God and loving others. Okay, Linda Garrington says there's a... Gaither vocal band song, Loving yeah. God, Loving Each Other. Uh -huh. And, of course, we know the Danny Gokey song. Right. Love God, But do you love know the people. Gaither song? I don't. I'll anyway, have to look that up. I wonder if they play it on the gospel. Oh, I bet you Southern they play gospel it on radio. Southern Gospel Radio. You betcha. Yeah, there's one to think about this week. But how do you love the ones, the people in your life better? Has mm -hmm. God given you some wisdom on how to do that? Share it with the rest of us this right? morning. Yeah, or how has somebody else maybe loved you or someone around you well, and you learned something from them, or you've seen that, Yeah. share that with us, 800-221-9356. Maybe it's just sending like a thank you card or 
or just uh, sending a little note encouraging them, like we were talking about blessing others, right? right? Yeah. Um, so maybe that's something that you've learned to do. Let us know, 800-221-9356-711 with For King and Country and Together. <laughs> Gary, Gary says you look like a stuffed olive. <laughs> <laughs> Heidi's adding on earmuffs, too. <laughs> yeah, earmuffs. <laughs> we got everything covered now, I think, pretty much. Oh, pretty much, that's right. <laughs> got your nose mitten on, you know. <laughs> well, see, if you wear a face mask now, you're covered there, too. Oh, the nose true. is covered. That's true. You got, you got it all covered. <laughs> there you go. That's right. But you still have to breathe. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of important. <laughs> <laughs> ah, breathing. <laughs> So we were thinking about loving better. I was thinking of some friends of ours that have this uh, thing that they tell people in their lives. You know, you can call us anytime, day or night. Right. And uh, to me, that is loving well. Too. Yeah. Being available for people. Sure. Day or night. And, you know, to, to ha know that you can call on somebody mm -hmm. day or night. Yeah, that's good. You know, there's a friend of mine that um, we've told each other that. Mm -hmm. You know, we've said, you know, hey, if you ever need to talk about anything, whatever, mm -hmm. you know, give me a call, text mm -hmm. me, whatever. Um, and um, we've never really taken each other up on it. <laughs> but um, it's nice to know that if something does happen, you can right. give them a call or text them, you know. Mm -hmm. and so, But that's a great, it is, it's great. It's a great way to love someone better mm -hmm. is to be available. Right, you know? right. You know, the other thing, and I don't mean to give a shameless plug, but another way that you can love better is to learn someone's love language mm -hmm. and to speak that yes. into yes. their life. You know, uh, if you know one of your kids and their love language is quality time, you know that you're, you're speaking more love to them, you're loving them better by spending quality time with them or gifts or whatever it mm -hmm. is. So, Which, here's another shameless plug. Uh-oh. Coming up Wednesday, we're talking with Gary Chapman. <laughs> All right. Right here at 6.30 in the morning. He's going to join us live. So, I mean, he won't be in the studio. We'll be talking with him on the phone. Yeah. He'd be crazy to come this direction. Yeah, oh, winter. yeah. He's down, what, is he in North Carolina, I think? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's down south. <laughs> right. A little warmer than here. <laughs> but we'll be talking with him. Always enjoy visiting with him. He always, yeah. You always come away learning something yeah. with Gary Chapman. Well, he's just so humble and just mm -hmm. such a, a gentleman. You know, it was a real pleasure to talk to. So looking forward to that. All right. So back to the Super Bowl commercials. If anybody has seen anyone that's that's good. Um, some of the I think there was one of the um, Cheetos or Doritos Frito-Lay commercials was pretty good where they had all the like the quarterbacks and stuff that were. Oh, to eat the that was in their, in their pajamas. in their pajamas. Oh, that was funny. Yeah, yeah that, that was, was a good funny. one. Troy Aikman tries to come in. Hey, guys, can I join you? No, man, get down. <laughs> <laughs> For King and Country and Friends and uh, Together at 714, Ken and Deb here, and we're talking about a couple of things this morning, talking about, first of all, how can you love better? What are some ways that you can do that? And also... Uh, favorite Super Bowl commercial or one that stood out to you? We were just talking off air about that uh, Frito Lay commercial about the uh, chips and stuff like oh, that with all the different quarterbacks in their pajamas. <laughs> so funny with Peyton Manning and his yeah, brother I know. in their pajamas. <laughs> yeah, and the dad's throwing, the, throwing the ball and, and Eli throws the fo footballs and they got them stuck in the wall. Oh, yes. <laughs> and their dad oh. comes down and goes, What are you guys doing? <laughs> I told you not to do that. <laughs> No throwing ball in the house, you know. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> that was pretty funny. So anyway, what about you? Do you have a, a favorite commercial um, that uh, you saw? Now, I didn't see this one. There's one with uh, Aaron Rodgers and Patrick uh, Mahomes and then the, the State Farm guy. Uh, there's one that's supposed to be there as well. I didn't see that one. The new uh, Drake from State Farm. I didn't see that one. Oh, I didn't either. So I'll have to watch mm -hmm. that one. But let us know which one's your favorite. 800-221-9356. Sometimes I forget we're on live streaming. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know I do, too. And I go, oh, yeah. <laughs> 
that's right. People are watching me. Probably, <laughs> so, probably shouldn't scratch my face. <laughs> that's okay, Deb. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Heidi says, am I the only person who didn't watch any of it? And so, Heidi. And Gaylene jumped on and said she didn't. Either. Oh, yeah? Oh, okay. So. I'm missing these here. Oh, Gaylene says, nor did I. I don't think you're alone. There's a lot of people that yes. haven't watched it. And it's okay, because some people like that, and some people, you know, some people like the sport of football. Some yeah. people don't. And, um, so... That's Who eats life. their own? <laughs> <laughs> so there's another question. What were you doing instead of watching the Super Bowl? Right. That's a good question. You know, maybe you weren't watching it. Heidi, mm -hmm. Gaylene, mm -hmm. or not Heidi. Who was it? Well, I, I got to come clean here. I was watching some of my show, and then I said, oops, we better turn on the Super Bowl so I can <laughs> talk about it on Monday. <laughs> we did watch some of it, but not all of it. Yeah. I think we got somebody on the line here, don't we, Jeremy? Moody Radio, good morning. Who's this? This is Matt. How are you guys doing this morning? Good, Matt. Hi, Matt. What's going on? Uh, the, uh, well, first of all, I'm not on the air, or am I? Uh, no. Well, you're on live you're streaming. You're on live streaming. <laughs> on live stream. Okay. Um, I would ask for uh, uh, prayers for today. Yes. Um, I have a pretty significant thing that I've got to do today and just ask for some prayers for everybody. Yeah. Um, but the the commercial that I was thinking of is uh, Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis with uh, Cheetos, with her got uh, Cheetos dust on her fingers. And yes. Kept an eye and buzz at me. Yes. 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 That, <laughs> that was always funny. Those two are always hilarious together, husband and wife. I think it's great. Yeah, yeah. And then Shaggy comes in, one of them, I think, and goes, well, it wasn't me. I didn't do it or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah, and then at the end, he, he's the one sitting in the chair, and he looks over at Mila Kunis and he goes, that never. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, yeah, that yeah, was, that those was were funny. Those were good. Well, hey, that's great. Let me pray for you real quick, Matt. Can you? Oh, can I do that? Do. Yeah, please Father, yes. we just come before you today, Lord, and I lift up my brother Matt to you today. You know what's going on in his life, and you know what the situation that he has to deal with today. I pray that you give him wisdom, give him favor, give him guidance as he goes through this day, and that you just... Uh, Walk before him and prepare the way and just uh, make way the, uh, the way that you want it to turn out and just give him uh, wisdom today. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And I want to thank you for the short prayer because it's hard to close your eyes while you're driving. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> keep, Don't keep, do that. Matt, keep one eye open, all right? <laughs> and, Matt, are you wearing your coat? <laughs> <laughs> De Mom, the Deb is, uh, yeah, I want you to wear uh -oh. your coat. Hey, we got to run, Matt. Bye. Have a good day. I plead the fifth, Deb. <laughs> All right. Bye. 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 Good morning. It's Ken and Deb with you. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. Hey, we're doing something special, and this is a way you can love someone better, and that is by sending a thank you card uh, to one of our frontline healthcare workers. We're doing a thank you card campaign to just say thanks for the hard work and all the hours and the and the danger that they put themselves in. Right. And if you're thinking, well, I'm not a very good writer. I don't know what to write inside the thank you card. We have some suggestions online for yeah, you, some right. verses you can use that, uh, you know, can relate to the healthcare worker, yeah. that you're thinking of them, praying for them. And it can be a really simple thing. It doesn't have to be a long, drawn-out message. Just a very simple thank you and mm -hmm. that we're thinking of you. We appreciate you. We're praying for you. Um, we care about you. Those those sorts of yeah. suggestions. And so you can get all the details, and then you just send those thank you cards in to us. Or if your church is collecting them, you can bring them to your church. Right. But you can find out all the details at moodyradio.org slash quad cities. Mm -hmm. Or an easier way, maybe if you just need the the address and some details on how to get those to us, yep. you can text THANKS to our phone number. That's right. So just text the word THANKS, that's it, to 800-221-9356 and to get those cards to us by the end of the month. We need them by the end of February. It is uh, 720. News is up next. Here's Hillsong Worship. <clears throat> that was good, <laughs> Matt. <laughs> Thanks for the short prayer. <laughs> oh, man. 
You know, it's neat when we can pray for one another, mm -hmm. you know, because um, we don't always know what everybody's going through, and but uh, it's neat when you feel comfortable enough to, to call us and share yeah. with us and, and let us pray for you. It's a real privilege. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So thanks, Matt, for letting us do yeah. that, and Lori earlier this yeah. morning, too. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. It is. It is. That's what it's all about. It is. That's part of loving each other. Yeah. Really that's right. is praying for one another. And you know, speaking of which, you yeah. had mentioned something special if they go to our website. Oh yeah. Um, to yeah. Uh, to get some resources for loving better, but there's also a little extra added bonus in there as well. We've got a giveaway that we're doing. We do, and you can sign up to win um, that online date night with your spouse, with Gary Chapman as the special speaker for that. So you can enter for the opportunity to win tickets to a virtual date night yeah. featuring Dr. Gary Chapman when you go to moodyradio.org slash quad cities and click on love better. And then just, it says love better giveaway. Okay. And, um, and it says, take me to the giveaway. And just click on that. There you go. Put your name in. We'll lead you right down the old path there. <laughs> Follow the purple road. Follow the purple road. <laughs> Plus, you can also get some great resources on how to love better as well. Uh, there when you go, it's like mm -hmm. some audio clips and video clips and things to read and, and everything. So we hope it's a, a, mm -hmm. a you know a good tool for you Yes. Uh, to check some of these things out. But uh, just go to moodyradio.org slash quad cities and find out. Well, that's going to wrap it up for us for this uh, Monday edition of the uh, Mid-Morning Show Coffee Break. Continue to call and text us, though, about your favorite commercial uh, from the Super Bowl mm -hmm. or how you can love better or how you've seen others love better. So uh, do that, and we'll talk to you tomorrow morning just mm -hmm. after 7 o'clock. Have a great rest of your day. Keep warm and safe. Wear your coat.